Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. Today is Sunday, Mania the 21st. We're getting there, guys. It's it's getting there. We're nearly there. 21, that means 10 more days to go. Woo! Um, this is... Uh, what's it called? I think it's called Secret Victorian Garden uh, Mandala by Chatelaine, as you can probably guess. <laughs> Um, and I've got my poop emoji on it because this design is giving me the poops. Ugh, where do I start? There are so many problems with this. Um, so the biggest problem I have is that, well, I started this in 2007 when it was actually a mystery. And now in 2017, I've come and picked it back up again and I can now see what it looks like because other people finished it. And it looks like this. And I do not like it. I don't like it at all. I hate it. I hate it, actually. Um, I love the middle bit. I love this. I like, you know, the gates, the black work gates and so on. Um, I hate the houses. I hate them. I hate them so much. They are ugly. They are, they're worse than ugly. They're, they are gross. Um, I hate this. The other problem I have <laughs> is that, I can admit it, I chose an awful fabric. Um, it's terrible. It's 32 count Lugana Opalescent from a company called Sugar, Ma Sugar Maple Fabrics. I don't think they're around anymore. Um, and the color is called Serendipity and it's kind of, it's purpley green with little bits of orange. Um, and when I did a floss toss, it looked fantastic, of course. But now that I've seen the design, I can see that bits like this are going to just disappear into it. This, um, you know, the, there's so much of this dominant teal color and this orange color that it, I don't know. I don't think it's going to look good. Um, even the border will probably disappear because the fabric is just too busy. Anyway. So I've got so many problems with this design. It is so pretty though. I love the center. I love what I've done. The rest, this is part one was the center of course. Part two is um, do all this green stitching here, which took forever. Part three is fill in all the flowers here. So there's some specialty stitches and some beads to make all these blank spaces get filled in with flowers. And then you'd stitch the stems. And it's like beads on the path, I think. Is it a path or a pond I don't know uh, not a pond like a stream anyway I like this part I don't know what I'm going to do guys I'm thinking of possibly possibly selling this as a kit on stash unload or ebay or something I don't know you know like as a as a partially started whip I mean someone would be grateful that I've done all of this green stitching because that took forever I'm not even kidding you it's a beautiful variegated green um it's this color this color blue sage by silken colors this is a huge kit i mean i bought the mpi silks kit there are so many colors this is kind of i don't know i love chatelaine the design is beautiful but she really it's gratuitous the amount of silk she uses so the problem i have with selling this since there are so many silks and it cost so much oh it might have been this color actually i think it was this color honeydew it was it was that color anyway um i think that if i sell this you know this kit probably cost me four hundred dollars australian plus this piece of fabric that's a meter long um yeah, I, I just know that I'm, you know, I'd be lucky to get half of that if I sold this. <sighs> so, I mean, that's a little disappointing. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's sort of a sunk cost fallacy. I've already spent the money. I may as well get some back. Um, and put it toward another design that I do like. I tell you what, people, I'm never stitching a mystery again. Ugh, I just, I'm so disappointed. It looked... Oh, I had such high hopes, and then these ugly houses, I hate them. Um, this is a whip. I'm just looking at Google Images, so there's lots of different pictures, and it's not just one picture. I just hate the houses. I just hate the overall look. It's so heavy. Um, so the other option I have with this piece is that I could 
cut out the houses and just make the design smaller. Let me try and explain what I mean. Let me go back to that other picture because that's a good picture. This is from yellowflowermeadow.blogspot.com. Um, this is the picture I'm using to get a good look at what I want to do. And it's only a whip picture, but, but it's a good picture. Um, so what I could do is sort of finish it off into a smaller mandala. Just take out the houses. You know, I'd keep the center part that I've already done, of course. I really like these corner parts. There are elements of this I do like. I could bring this border, which is very pretty, bring it in much closer, just around this border. Just around, sorry, the gates. These corner parts that I like. Bring the border down to here. Then I just need to find something to fill in this small part here on each side. And there's a lot of parts of the design I could use. I like these willow trees. Maybe I could use like a willowy bush in the middle. I like... Um, these gates. I could do a gate on one side. I could maybe I could do a house on one side and then a gate here and a willow tree there and some of these flowers over here maybe. I don't know. I probably wouldn't do a house on one side. It would just look unbalanced. Um, maybe the fence at the back could go on one side. I don't know. Maybe I could just do a bunch of flowers on all four sides. I don't know. I don't know. I've got some options. I think this is probably what I'll end up doing. Just redesign it to keep, because I do like the center. It is pretty. I think if I surround the whole thing, I think black work will show up great on this fabric. It'll be fine. Um, the border I might lose, but it's very pretty, so I'll stitch it anyway. Um, I think this is what I'll end up doing, because then at least I will have a finished piece for my trouble. I'll always have a story <laughs> about what a stupid mistake I made. Um, I like this part too in the corner. You can't see very well. It's pretty, right? That's interesting. Maybe I could turn that into like a fence along here. I don't know. Anyway, these are my plans for this piece. I think today I'll certainly be working on finishing off the beads in the center and working on the flowers around here. Um, yeah, I've definitely decided I'm not stitching that. I don't like those houses. So... Let me know your opinion on what you think, if you think it would be appropriate for me to sell this as a whip kit. I can't sell the pattern because it's a digital pattern, so someone would have to buy the pattern as well. That's another problem. Um, but, you know, maybe someone would be really excited to get a Chatelaine kit with all the silks for like 150 or $200. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I will probably end up making my own miniature version of this. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, I'm so troubled by this. But it's so pretty, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Lovely details. Amazing, amazing bling on this piece. So pretty. Look at that big cube one. Where it is? There. That's a cube bead. <laughs> yep. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I don't have a lot of time to work on this today because I'm babysitting my sister's kids in the afternoon. So there won't be much progress on Instagram, but I'll see you tomorrow anyway. Bye-bye.